Yeah, so he did something historic by running a, a presidential campaign that he almost won without any of that outside money, but just small donations from regular people. And that's part of my frustration with the Democratic Party is that the Democratic Party is heavily influenced by super PACs and lobbyists. And that's not, that's not me being partisan or, or whatever. It's just the reality. And so Bernie has laid out a, bru a blueprint that proves you can, you can do this and maintain financial integrity. And, um, but not just that. Um, Bernie is about bringing new people into the political process. And that's why he has resonated so much with young people. I mean, uh, the, the numbers of young people that supported him versus any other candidate are, are historic. And in most of those numbers, he polled better with young people than President Obama at his highest when he was running. And, and which, which shocks even me, in part because, again, Bernie made it clear that politics for him is not about the establishment but it's about creating a grassroots movement from the ground up. And so um, it's about addressing issues of money, it's about getting new people involved, but, um, but for Bernie it's also about issues of justice. And um, I've, I've been a Democrat my whole life, but I've lost confidence that the Democratic Party cares about issues of justice the way they say. Like for instance, Hillary Clinton was receiving money from private prison lobbyist during this campaign. Um, some private prison lobbyists and even people on the boards of private prisons are lifelong Democrats. And I, I didn't know that. And Bernie has come out strong, not only against private prisons, but against drastic reforms in the criminal justice system. And I know these aren't just phony ideas, but things that he really believes in. And so if he, if he won, I'd be passionate about those issues. And if he loses, I'm still passionate about those issues. And that's what people are here for, to say we care about issues that are bigger than him. And that's not a diss to him. Like, I've heard here at the People's Summit, I've heard people say over and over and over, this is bigger than Bernie. And I know he would love to hear that. Whereas I think if you said that with some other politicians, it would be like an insult. And uh, I love that it's not an insult to Bernie. So let me ask you, whether Bernie wins or loses, what do you see as the future of the Bernie movement? Well, uh, that's a great question. You know, we, and this is not hyperbole, but we live in a really strange, uh, uncertain time. Uh, not just, uh, Donald Trump, we, he pays a heavy price for that, but it's, big, it's bigger than Donald Trump. We live in a really challenging, difficult time, even as we are filming this, we are just a week out from this horrific attack in Orlando where 49 people were murdered and they were targeted because of their sexual orientation. And so a lot of us, all of us, are not feeling good about the direction of our country right now. And um, these next few months are critical for where this movement that Bernie has helped build for where it goes. Um, I've thought about that and I've been asked that question a lot. I don't know, I don't know yet where we go. Um, I don't know what the Democratic Convention is going to look like. Um, I don't know what the Republican Convention is going to look like. I don't know if Bernie will find a way to endorse Hillary Clinton and support her. And so there's a part of me that is just waiting to see where these next few months go. And I, I think a lot of us are unsure. But that's why Bernie came out and um, he did this live video this past week where he challenged all of his supporters who want to get involved in politics to sign up and to, to make a pledge to run for office. Um, and I think Bernie is already thinking through how he helps progressives all around the country get elected. But, but where the movement goes, I'm, I'm still not sure. I, I think these next few months, circle back and ask me in November and I'll have a better answer for you. Well, let me ask you one last question. Yeah. Right now, they're slated to be thousands of people, thousands of Bernie supporters, progressive activists showing up at the Democratic National Convention in July. What do you think their goals should be? What do you think the strategy should be? And what do you think is going to happen at the DNC in July? I think the DNC in July, I think it's going to be um, 
I think it's going to be a pretty raucous uh, event. I I don't know that it will be just like Nevada, which people, I think all of us accept that Nevada was a mess on many different levels. But it was, it was a mess because you had a thousand people who had really never been a part of the political process feel like they were being railroaded by people who've always been a part of the political process. And so if that's how the Democratic Convention goes, it's going to be a problem. And because these, these Bernie delegates are passionate supporters of Bernie. And if they feel like they're being railroaded on the, the issues of the platform or any, any other issues there, uh, it could, it, I don't want to say it could be contentious, but people who support Bernie are not, are not passive. They, uh, they believe in the differences between he and Hillary. And so um, I, don't, I, I don't know how it will go, but um, it's, it's going to be interesting for sure. And uh, I, it, that's not that's not a prediction of like I hope it doesn't I hope it doesn't melt down I don't I don't want to see that but at the same time um, Bernie's delegates who will be there on the floor are not really the type of men and women who just get right in line and uh, so I think in that sense it's going to be radically different than what we what we've seen at the past few Democratic conventions. Um, I think Bernie will, what Bernie says and does will, will affect a lot of that. And I think all of us are, in a sense, kind of waiting to hear um, marching orders, for lack of better words, from Bernie in terms of even what his hopes are for the convention.